In this video, I'm going to show you why everyone in the Madden community is sleeping on one of the best routes that really no one has talked a lot about this year. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, uh, hit the sub button. Also, I have this full ebook on Trio Y Flex. We're in the Giants playbook today uh, on offense. I have a full ebook breakdown on the Trio Y Flex as to why I think that this is probably the best offense or at least one of the best offenses in Madden 22. If you want to get all of my ebooks, I've got over 22 offensive and defensive guides. Those will be linked in my membership, my Patreon membership. It's only, um, it, it's only $10 a month to get it. And as soon as you get it, you get all the eBooks. You also get every weekly update. Uh, we've been doing weekly updates all season long, just kind of breaking down how the game shifts, how the game changes week to week, uh, some of the high level stuff that you're seeing in competitive Madden. So if you want to check that out, again, it's linked in the description. But this Trio Y Flex, I keep coming back to this. It's a lot of fun to run this offense. And really what makes it so good is this post route uh, from the play PA Crossers. Now PA Crossers, has everything that you need built within one concept. So I'm gonna set just a couple key audibles here. I'm gonna set uh, dagger and curl flat. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is it does have a quick base run and an inside zone. Uh, so it has kind of the key runs that you need. But let's talk about PA crossers. And what everyone in the community I think is sleeping on is this post route to Mike Evans. Notice that it is a deep post route, okay? Now, a couple reasons why this could be important. If they're matching you in coverage, um, he's not going to cut until after they've converted to match. Therefore, his deep out elite is going to activate significantly better. The second thing, and, and really the most important in my opinion, is it will literally be pretty much every coverage in this game um, if you understand how to throw this, okay? So what we're going to do, it also runs longer than uh, standard post route. So I'm just going to come out in a cover three defense. And I just, I'm going to set up a simple route combo just like this right here. So you see, this is what the route combo looks like. Now I want you to watch the post route on the left. What you're going to notice is it's going to run and then it's going to really drive forward and continue to run all the way across the face of the safety. Now you definitely do need time for this. That's why we have, of course, a couple quick reads underneath. If you want to smart route this, you can. I'm going to show that in just a second. But again, I just want to focus first and foremost on how, look, notice that it keeps running. See that it keeps running across the face of the safety. Now, another route that we know is really good in this game is a skinny post off of a hot route master. But notice that it cuts significantly shorter than the last route that we were showing you. And what you're going to notice with this post is it's actually going to stop running right about there. So notice that it stops running um, kind of in the middle of the field. Whereas the other post, if you take a look here real quick and I'll show it one more time, this is the old, or this is the PA crossers post. If you take a look at this, you're going to notice that it will continue to run past the hash mark, which is really important. So if you watch it, see how he keeps running right to the edge of the hash mark. So just for like a, literally a step or two longer, and it makes all of the difference in the world. I'm going to show you why. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set up one of the most uh, popular coverage defenses in Madden 22. It's a cover three, cover three on one side and a cover two on the other side, a double maple setup. And what you're going to notice with this post, if I leave it like this, the standard post, watch how he tops over the top of the third. And you can actually pass lead this all the way to the opposite numbers and absolutely crucify the cover two. Another thing that is really important that I want to really quickly uh, reiterate, one of the most popular ways that people like to stop bombs in this game is they're going to put their safety on the side that you're trying to bomb. In this example to the right, they're going to put him into an inside third or not an inside third. I'm sorry, a, an inside quarter. And because of how deep this post route really is, a lot of times that won't even work because you'll see he's, he's not in his grid. Notice the inside quarter completely dumbing out. And as you can see, I can bomb that coverage. So I can bomb a deep half. I can also bomb an inside quarter on that side. Now, the coverage that is obviously, I think, the most difficult coverage to bomb with this route combo is the post, um, or I'm sorry, the, the cover four drop. But notice again, the deeper that post route is, the harder it is for that backside inside quarter to be able to recover. So the same route combination that I'm running is getting open every single time. So as you saw, it bombed cover four, it bombed cover three, it bombed cover two, it bombed an adjusted cover three with an inside quarter. 
And now what I want to do is show you the same exact thing that I just showed you, but we're going to take a look at it through the lens of a Hot Route Master skinny post, which is what most people are using um, out of like a trips tight end style of formation or a bunch style formation. So again, this is a skinny post off of that. And you'll notice that it is good, but it's nowhere near as good. Watch the inside quarter. Um, the other thing, see how he kind of freezes? That's really important. Um, he, he freezes before he gets across the face of the safety. Now, the other thing that's also important is the um, that is really underrated about this is the position that the tight end is in. You notice that with that deep half right there, it really got glitched out well. Also, the inside quarter really gets glitched out well because of partially because of the grid again and where that tight end is in the grid system. He's just inside the numbers as opposed to being attached to the line of scrimmage. And so what you're going to see is when he crosses that defender doesn't always have the chance to recover now you can throw that and as you can see it does work but that was a deep half now i want to spend a few minutes showing you the inside quarter and i'll also show you why the position of the tight end is really really important so we'll show it to you from another formation here in just a second so as you can see, there's the slant post combination and this pose, and this is the inside quarter. Notice the inside quarter is much, much easier to play that, and it absolutely takes away. Why is that? Because the post is coming into the grid of the inside quarter way earlier because it's a shorter post route. That's really, really important, okay? Now, for the last piece of this, I do want to show you something else. Now, again, if you want to learn everything about the Trio Y Flex, there's so much to learn about this offense. It, in my opinion, is the best offense that I've ran all season. Um, if you can learn how to pick up the blitz from the play action and stuff like that in motion blocking, it's really, really, really good. Okay. But now I wanted to spend just a few seconds more with you guys um, explaining why the tight end placement is really, really important. So we're going to go over here to the Trio um, offset formation and we're going to come out in PA post shot. Now, a little bit of a different play, but basically the same thing. So um, I'm going to go back to that deep half adjustment first, and then we'll, we'll walk through things here together. So what you're going to see here is this is a deep half on the tight end side. We're going to put the tight end on a post, exact same route combination, and we're actually going to use the deeper post here. What you'll notice with this is this deep half um, deep half's not as bad of a, of a, as big of a problem, but notice the third does play it better. Um, another thing that I want you to see though, that is really important is let's say that I, um, let's say that I go ahead and put the, you know, the hot route master skinny post out there. What you'll notice is again, it's going to run a little bit too quick and run the grid a little bit too quick, which is really important. And what you'll see here is this inside third can play it really a lot better significantly better why is that it's because of when it comes open and it's also because of the placement of the tight end which i will illustrate here in this next piece um whenever your opponent puts the inside quarter on the safety okay so here this is an inside quarter to the safety and then we got of course our double mabel what you'll notice with this adjustment is now this inside quarter the tight end is inside of the inside quarter. That's the biggest thing that I want you to notice. And you'll see that the inside quarter passes him easily and backs up, backs up, backs up. And you see how easy it is for him to get back there and play the ball. With the trio wide, uh, with the with the flexed out tight end, even if you motion him, heck. I mean, even if you did something like this, this is probably going to have a little bit more success. Let me put him on a tight end apprentice post and then motion him out. You could also put him on a smart routed in. I've done several videos this year explaining the all the different pull routes in Madden 22. But, you know, here again, obviously, if they put him in inside quarter, they're kind of dumb because you can easily hit a fade over the top, but they might. OK, so just want to show you the inside quarter here. But now the tight end is outside of the inside quarter. So he's going to cross the face of the inside quarter. So I want you to watch how this inside quarter plays. Here you see he kind of dumbs out a little bit more and he doesn't go back into the grid for significant more amount of time and therefore it leaves the window in which we can hit that over the top which is, and again i want to show you how you can use an in route and basically the same thing 
it, the, the two pieces of this tip go together, having a deeper post route and also having a tight end that is outside of the inside quarter adjustment that they're trying to do to try to get you off of what you want to hit. And so again, you've got your quick reads, of course. So obviously you want to read these plays, but now look here, notice the inside quarter and the inside third, because that post is so deep, they can't get on top of the route and it makes it significantly easier to throw at your opponent whether it be an in route or post route. You don't have to have tight end apprentice to do this. You can do this from anything because you can just use a simple smart routed in. This is why I all year have been running, you know, a motioned out tight end out of trips and really have enjoyed this trio of flex because the placement of the tight end. Notice the inside third. Again, because of the grid system, that deep post doesn't come into the inside thirds grid for a significant amount more time than if it was a shorter post. And I'll show that real quick. Um, and that's why, again, both of these things go hand in hand. Notice I'm not using a pull route though. And to me, this is the biggest um, key is I don't have to use a pull route to go, go over their head. And the other beauty of that is it's way easier um, to disguise your bomb because you're not giving it away by having this thing. But notice here, same thing. It does work with the shorter post. It's just, you really got to be on your throw. If you, if you're not careful with that, with that, with that, um, post, you can be in a lot of trouble. But again, please understand you can apply this to trip side in. I, everyone that watches this channel probably knows by now that I'm a huge fan of trip side in. You can apply this to trip side in with a skinny post. All you got to do is just make sure that tight end is outside. Now, again, you still have to be able to make a good throw um, at the right proper timing. But notice again, you see how that inside quarter, that third, that deep half, there's no zone in the game that is going to be able to get it. Why? Because the tight end is outside of the inside quarter and the deep half. That is the key. That is why you see um, you know, bunch bombs, I think are really effective for that reason. This is also why, um, in my opinion, the, the bunch tight end bomb, if you, if you take a little closer look at the bunch tight end bomb, you're going to notice again, what's the same, what's the thing? It's the, it's the inside quarter or not the inside quarter, but the deeper post, the deeper post really helps you get over the top. And again, here's cover four. Now that post is outside and here we're able to get this over the top, but it's not as easy by any means. And it's definitely not as open. So with that in mind, guys, that is why I like Trio Y Flex. It's why I like the deep post routes. Um, you can find these deep post routes all over the place. But if you just look closely at the route, again, it's a deeper post route than normal. So why Trips Week has it in PA post cross shot, same exact thing. And so I'll just show you a quick quick example again we have a dig here um to godwin and then really you can do whatever you want with johnson i would recommend a motion slant okay and again i have never ran this play this year literally never ran this play but you're going to see the same basic principle you've got that dig coming from the wide see how that quarter really comes underneath and now i can hit this over the top so that is how Again, the deeper post routes really help manipulate the zones a little bit better this year. And again, they're also way better against um, match coverage because they get open um, way easier. So anyways, I've talked enough. That's it. That's how you glitch out the quarters. And really, you can bomb literally every coverage in the game. If you have a good receiver out there, I recommend running deep out elite, maybe a route tech on that player and you're gonna have a lot of success. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn my full Trio Y Flex offense, like I said, I think it's the most effective offense that nobody's using, and it is linked down in the description below. Complete, created the offense completely uh, from scratch this year and have had so much fun running it. So link is in the description if you wanna check out the Trio Y Flex. And then also I've got a ton of other eBooks in the Patreon as well as updates and stuff like that. So thanks for watching the video. If you wanna get all that content, link is in the description, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.